At the airing of its last episode, Hawaii Five-0 became the longest-running police drama in American television history. By the end of its 12-year run, the show had helped many American citizens become a little more familiar with the 50th state. When the show premiered in 1968, Hawaii had been a state for only nine years. It was pretty obscure to Americans, except those who had served in the Pacific Theater. The show remains very popular in syndication, and it was known for its on-location filming, its theme song, its cast, and often the episode-ending catchphrase, Book 'em, Dano! The birthplace for the idea of the series came from a conversation that producer Leonard Freeman had with Hawaii's then-governor John Burns. A 5-0 style police unit had been proposed by the governor in the mid-1960s, but the idea just didn't go anywhere. The legislature either didn't want to fund it or they had some other reason. In their conversation, years later, Burns told Freeman of his failed proposal, and that's where the idea for the series came from. Leonard Freeman's mother-in-law, Mimi, encouraged her son-in-law to film the series in Hawaii, and when he originally wanted to call the show The Man, she suggested Hawaii Five O as a reflection of Hawaii's entry into the Union as the 50th state. The pilot for Hawaii Five O aired as a two-hour movie called Cocoon. Cocoon premiered as a movie in Honolulu's Royal Theater February 19, 1968, to a select audience. It had been filmed in late 1967. Again in 1968, it was shown to another sample audience in New York. The audience there voiced its displeasure with the actor Tim O'Kelly in the role of Danny Williams. They thought he was just too boyish for the part. Leonard Freeman therefore went looking for a new Dano. He settled on James MacArthur, who had appeared in the movie Hang 'em High, which Freeman had produced in 1967. Aside from Danny Williams, there were no changes as far as the primary cast members were concerned. The movie starred Jack Lord as Steve McGarrett, with Zulu as Kono, and Cam Fong as Chen Ho Kelly. Now, a real challenge from the beginning was the lack of movie industry in Hawaii. Much of the crew and cast, including many locals who ended up working on the show, had to learn their respective jobs as they went along. The first season was shot in a rusty military Quonset hut, which many of the cast members quickly named Mongoose Manor. Quonset huts are those prefabricated steel structures that popped up all over the Pacific during the Second World War. They look like a massive tube that is sliced lengthwise. The roof often leaked, rats would be found gnawing on cables, and then the show finally moved to Fort Ruger for seasons two to eight. A third studio was eventually built at Diamond Head, and it was used during the last four seasons. Very few of the episodes were actually filmed outside of Hawaii. There were two episodes that were shot in L.A., one in Hong Kong, and one in Singapore. It's often nice to note that they used real Honolulu police officers to play extras in the show. According to Stuart Whitman, Leonard Freeman had first offered him the role of Steve McGarrett. They had been working together on the series Cimarron Strip, and Freeman really wanted Whitman for the role, but he had a commitment to the Western that he was working on, so he declined. It's also been said that Gregory Peck and Richard Boone were both offered the role of McGarrett and both turned it down. Jack Lord was living in Beverly Hills when he was asked at the last minute to read for the part. He read for it on a Wednesday, flew to Hawaii on a Friday, and was in front of the cameras a few days later. He actually became a permanent resident and a prominent figure in Hawaii. 
He donated to many local causes and charities, and he was often mentioned publicly for political office. After his passing, a fan-funded bust of him was erected in Honolulu. Hawaii Five O centers on a fictional state police task force headed by former U.S. Navy officer Steve McGarrett. He's a detective captain appointed by the governor to hound and to eradicate from the islands organized crime syndicates, criminals, and international communist agents. McGarrett's adversary and arch enemy is the People's Republic of China intelligence agent Wo Fat. Wo Fat makes 15 appearances on the show, but he and Jack Lord only appear in the same scene four times. One of the most interesting aspects to this character is the origin of his name. It comes from a well-known restaurant in the Chinatown neighborhood of Honolulu, and it's called Wo Fat. It's the season finale titled Wo to Wo Fat that McGarrett and 5 finally see their nemesis go to jail. At the start of the fifth season, familiar faces began being replaced on the show. The first to leave the series was Zulu, he played Kono, and the circumstances that surround his departure are very difficult to grasp. During the fourth season of the show, the U.S. Coast Guard, with whom Zulu had previously served, came to CBS and stated that they wanted to honor one of their own by having a special dinner and event with Zulu as the guest of honor. They asked CBS to help sponsor the event, and CBS initially agreed. But when Jack Lord, who considered himself the star of Hawaii Five O, got wind of this, he made a fuss. He went to CBS and threatened to leave the show if they allowed this. CBS decided to compromise and told the Coast Guard they either had to honor Lord, who never had anything to do with the Coast Guard, and Zulu both together, or do nothing. The Coast Guard decided it would not make sense to include a non-Coast Guard person in an official Coast Guard event, so they canceled the event. The publicity guy CBS delegated to break the news to Zulu happened to be Jewish. Obviously, Zulu was devastated at the news, and he took it out on this publicity guy. In his anger, he started screaming at the guy with horrible anti-Semitic terms. This all actually occurred on the set and was witnessed by several people, none of whom actually knew the backstory for Zulu's yelling. All the people were completely shocked. Zulu left the location in tears. When word of the incident got back to Leonard Freeman and the rest of CBS, Zulu was terminated. He got a phone call soon after telling him not to return to the set ever again. He told attendees at a 1996 5 convention that he was in South America on holiday and simply phoned his agent and said, I'm not coming back. He said it was as simple as that, that he had had enough. He elaborated later saying that the show was running downhill badly. Cam Fong's character, Chin Ho Kelly, was murdered in the final episode of the 10th season. Cam said that he originally wanted Chin Ho to retire gracefully, and he actually fought the idea of having his character murdered. Someone then explained to him that it was an honor to be a regular on a television show and have your character killed off. This meant that no one else could play your character. Cam Fong was a 16-year veteran of the Honolulu Police Department. He actually auditioned for the role of Wo Fat, but Leonard Freeman cast him in the role of Chin Ho Kelly instead. Another legacy of the show is the popularity of the 5 theme song. The tune was composed by Morton Stevens and later covered by The Ventures, Their version actually reached number four 
on the Billboard Hot 100 pop chart in 1968. We leave you with James MacArthur's memory of the creation of the memorable and often repeated catchphrase, Bookum Dano. It was actually the invention of Jack Lord. He recalls that one day in the middle of filming, Jack said something like, Go down there, Dano. Dano? Who's Dano? Jack explained that when he was a kid, he had a friend named Dan, and he would call him Dano. And now you know the rest of the story. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.